Buongiorno a tutti! Welcome back to my little kitchen here in Lecce in the south of Italy. My name is Francesco and today even though it's still so hot, it's a little bit milder at just 35 degrees. Oh, but I'm still going to turn on the oven because I've decided the world needs a little bit more sweetness, at least mine does. And I'm going to make something I like to make a couple of times a year at least, and that is a crostata with fresh figs. I like to make this using some pistachio cream, which I got from Sicily. If you can't get that, and you do like chocolate, then you could possibly, I guess, use Nutella to do the same thing. Although that's not my favorite, this actually is. I'm gonna add some almonds, a little bit of sugar and cinnamon, so very simple ingredients. And it's going to bake in just 20 minutes at the most, which is great when it's this hot. So I hope you enjoy the recipe. If you do, please give me that thumbs up. Do leave a comment and do subscribe to the channel and follow me for more. I'd really appreciate it. Let's cook. For today's recipe, you are going to need fresh figs, puff pastry, sweet pistachio cream if you can get it. If not, you could substitute it with Nutella, cinnamon, sugar, and almonds. The most important thing with this recipe is to have nice, ripe, plump figs. All we need to do is to give them a rinse, cut off the stem end and then cut them into slices like so. If there are any little bits at the bottom of the fig, as you can see here, just snip them away. If you use nice ripe figs, they're going to be sweet enough that you're going to need next to no sugar. And you'll see, in this recipe, I'm just going to use one heaped teaspoon of sugar for the whole thing. And in fact, I didn't even use that whole teaspoon. We're also going to need a good handful of almonds to sprinkle on top. I didn't have any slivered almonds, so I just took mine and cut them in half. And now the final ingredients, as I mentioned earlier, one heaped teaspoon of sugar and cinnamon to taste. Just stir it in and we're going to use this to sprinkle on top of the figs and the pastry. And you'll see it's more than enough. And believe it or not, that's all of our prep work done. Now we can get straight over and start assembling our tart. Unroll the puff pastry and add a heaped teaspoon of the pistachio cream. Once again, you're going to think this isn't enough, but use a spatula and spread it out evenly and just leave a couple of inches uncoated along the outside. I recommend you not to be tempted to want to add more pistachio cream because that's going to make the tart soggy. The figs themselves are going to give off a lot of juice. As you can see, all you need to do is start creating a spiral in the center of the pastry and then build outwards. I did two rings of figs. It's really easy. And all you need to do then is to place an almond on the middle of each slice of fig. Like so. Once again, very simple. But the result is going to be very pretty and you're going to have a nice crunch with each bite of juicy fig. Next, we're going to fold over the edge of the pastry like so, but not press it down too firmly. This will leave it room to puff up. And now, all we're going to do is to sprinkle that sugar over the top of the figs and the pastry. Trim away the paper and we're ready to go into the oven. You want to have your oven preheated to the highest setting and place the tart onto the rack so that it gets nice hot air from above and below. This way you're also going to get a crispier bottom. After about 20 minutes it's going to come out looking golden and delicious and wonderful like this. 
And now comes the difficult part, because we're going to need to let it cool before serving. And about half an hour later, we're ready to go. And there you have it, truly beautiful, not too sweet, made with healthy, fresh figs and hardly any sugar. What more could you want? Buon appetito. Enjoy.